I've been coming to the Sustainability Exchange probably every year. This is the 11th year and um, I come because it makes me probably a better investment officer. It does make me a better investment officer, so scratch that word about probability. And one reason for that is it has to do with all the stories that I hear. And um, the first story I remember had to do with a woman who was standing in front of the plen plenary, and uh, so a sea of 200 faces, and she was talking about how she went into the village, she was vice president of sustainability for a company in Brazil, and she went to, into the village expecting to be greeted with flowers in a ceremony um, uh, for all the good projects they've done, the health projects and education. And she said the community came out, but they came out with stones, and she didn't understand why they wanted to harm her. And they said, we don't want your hospital, we don't want your school, we need water. And she started talking about how she grew up without water and she actually understood what they meant. And uh, she grew up fetching water on, on some, with the, using a container for her head. And um, I just thought at that point in time, besides the fact that she was making every woman in that audience tear up, maybe some of the men as well, um, but just how wrong that company had gotten it and it took a story to actually have that crystallize for everyone to understand that what you think may be the right thing to do at your desk is not necessarily the right thing to do for the community if you don't have their buy-in or their participation in that. So in the end, uh, she actually made it her business to get that community water. It was her own personal business because of the, her own life experience. And she went to the municipality and time and time again and worked out a solution. It took her about a year, but she ended up delivering, personally delivering through the company water to that community.